um, I'm obviously ready. <laughs> Devin Haney up next week. Anybody, anybody betting against me? Undefeated champions Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia are set to clash on April 20th, but the fight is already heating up outside the ring. Trash talk and social media drama have been flying back and forth, and now Haney has taken aim at Garcia's recent training footage, sparking a new controversy. Let's dive in. The highly anticipated lightweight showdown between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia has transformed into a full-blown war, not just in the ring, but on social media as well. Just days before their April 20th clash, Garcia threw a metaphorical grenade into the already volatile mix by leaking footage of Haney sparring with Gervonta Tank Davis on his YouTube channel. This wasn't your average sparring clip. The grainy video depicts a young Haney seemingly overwhelmed by a relentless barrage of punches from the powerful Davis, with the legendary Floyd Mayweather acting as a watchful observer. While Haney appears to be rattled by some of the shots, he manages to regain his composure and weather the storm. Predictably, this unearthed footage sent some shocks through the boxing world. Haney, the current WBC super lightweight champion, wasn't about to take this shot lying down. He took to Twitter to launch a fierce counteroffensive, questioning the authenticity of the video and talking about his age and inexperience at the time of the sparring session. Never did they post a chopped up edited video, Haney wrote. 16 years old and in there holding my own. We bet AB pops and he honored it and paid. Ryan, we watched you quit. We are not the same and never will be. Tune in on April 20th, I'll show it. The AB Haney refers to here is Adrian Bronner, another big figure in the lightweight division who was also present during the sparring session, even acting as a peacekeeper when things got heated between the young fighters. The significance of the leaked video goes beyond just showcasing a sparring session from years ago. Garcia himself suffered a brutal knockout defeat at the hands of Davis last year, raising questions about his ability to withstand a similar onslaught from Haney. However, Garcia bounced back with a convincing win and was determined to dethrone the undefeated champion. This rivalry goes beyond the typical pre-fight trash talk. Haney has been relentless in his attempts to get under Garcia's skin throughout the buildup. He accused Garcia of being intoxicated at their initial press conference in New York, an accusation Garcia surprisingly admitted to, claiming he was high during an interview. During this interview, when asked about training, Garcia's response was quite off. Amazing bro, looking good and training well. I'm laughing because I'm as high as F. The bombshell confession wasn't the only eyebrow-raising comment. Garcia, known for his confident personality, then targeted UFC star Sean O'Malley, declaring his intention to beat O'Malley's ass in MMA. This seemingly random challenge further fueled the perception of Garcia's erratic behavior. Haney, never one to shy away from a verbal jab, reacted swiftly on Twitter, threatening to boycott the next press conference. I'm not going to that press conference tomorrow. This dude Ryan is wasting mine and everybody's time. This raised concerns about the fight's future, with some fans fearing Garcia's actions could lead to a cancellation. He's fake. But you say he says one thing to your face and does something different behind your back. What I meant by that is, like, I know he like we get friendly, but like I know what's underneath that. Like we're ready to go get his ass, like when they get that opportunity. So that's all I meant by that. You know, um, Devin's death. This incident wasn't the first time Garcia's behavior threatened to derail the fight's promotion. Shortly after the fight announcement, security was forced to separate the two boxers at a Super Bowl press event. Adding fuel to the fire, Haney accused Garcia of being intoxicated at their initial press conference in New York. Ryan was at the Mother F. King press conference drunk as a skunk, Haney told Fight Hub TV. But you know, hopefully, he can get it together before April 20th and I'm going to have him punch drunk on that day. Take that as a knockout warning, Garcia. It seems that Haney has maintained a laser focus on the fight itself, carefully crafting a champion's image. Garcia, on the other hand, has become a whirlwind of controversy, leaving fans questioning his commitment and focus. This only fueled the fire further, with Haney threatening to pull out of the remaining press tour altogether, although he ultimately showed up for their second face-off. 
The leaked video has undoubtedly added another layer of intrigue and tension to this already explosive rivalry. Haney clearly feels the need to prove himself against Garcia on fight night, not just to the fans, but to Garcia himself. With both fighters looking to establish themselves as the top dog in the lightweight division, fans can expect an all-out war come April 20th. Speaking of fans, they too have some things to say. First off, Ryan Garcia, the 25-year-old undefeated boxing prodigy with a reputation built on highlight reel knockouts, finds himself in an unusual predicament, dissected and debated over a pair of contrasting training clips. His training camp in Dallas, overseen by trainer Derek James, has become a virtual boxing forum, with fans divided on whether Garcia is truly working on honing his skills for glory or simply putting on a show. On one hand, fans erupted in applause at glimpses of Garcia's signature lightning-fast hands, videos showcasing his staple quick movements and a renewed focus on developing his right hand have been met with approval. This diversification in his offensive arsenal is seen as a positive step towards establishing himself as a complete fighter, not just a one-trick pony reliant on his devastating left hook. However, another set of training clips has ignited a firestorm of criticism. Videos featuring Garcia working on combinations in slow motion alongside the latest clip of him sparring with a seemingly lighter opponent have left many fans bewildered. I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's gonna get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. Chin on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych war because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. The most controversial aspect of the latest clip is the knockdown. Garcia lands a clean left jab, left hook, and right jab combination, sending his sparring partner tumbling back onto the canvas. While the technique is perfect, the perceived lack of power behind the punches has generated some questions. One fan referred to it as the most boring knockdown I've ever seen in my life, questioning the legitimacy of the clip altogether. Another expressed deep concern, predicting that the WBC champion Devin Haney would eat him alive based on the perceived lack of power displayed. Social media comments have ranged from accusations of a staged production to blunt pronouncements like lame as hell. However, not everyone is convinced by the negativity. Some fans have pointed to the development of Garcia's right hand, a previously underutilized weapon that could add a new dimension to his fighting style. One supporter praised the improvement, declaring, a better right hand he's shown in the past. This sentiment highlights the ongoing debate. Is Garcia genuinely working on improving his skill set? Or is this simply a show for the cameras? The true test of Garcia's training, of course, will come on fight night. The question that remains is whether he will deploy a similar strategy against the technically gifted Haney. Will fans see another tactical innovation, like the Floyd Mayweather shoulder roll he employed against Oscar Duarte in his last fight? Beyond the debate surrounding the training clips and Garcia's strategy, there's another layer of intrigue to this fight. Garcia and Haney have a storied history, having fought six times in the amateurs with three wins apiece. This personal rivalry adds another layer of spice to the matchup, with bragging rights and potential future dominance of the lightweight division hanging in the balance. Ryan Garcia is not on the receiving end though, he too has fired back. Garcia has painted a clear picture of his aspirations. Devin Haney isn't just an opponent, he's an obstacle to be conquered, a stepping stone on his path to boxing royalty. In one of the recent Garcia interviews, Garcia declared with unwavering conviction, Devin Haney is going to be light work for me. This bold statement further proves his belief that Haney simply isn't on his level. A victory, in Garcia's eyes, isn't just a championship belt, it's a coronation an ascent to the throne as the new face of boxing. However, confidence hasn't always been Garcia's shield. When Haney landed a verbal blow calling Garcia fat, it could have easily gotten under his skin. Instead, Garcia took to social media, effectively countering the barb by showcasing his physique. He weighed in at 154.1 lbs, a hefty 14.1 lbs above the fight weight, demonstrating his dedication to shedding the pounds before fight night. 
This public display served as a double-edged sword, a message to Haney that he's in peak condition, but also a reminder of the weight cut challenges that lie ahead. Garcia's unwavering belief in his abilities isn't only limited to interviews and social media posts. He actively seeks opportunities to showcase his fighting spirit. A surprise appearance at Nate Diaz versus Jorge Masvidal's press conference sent a clear message and he's ready, he's focused, and he wants the world to know it. However, Garcia's social media antics haven't always been met with cheers. His occasional erratic behavior has raised concerns about his mental state and commitment to the fight. He's addressed these doubts head on, promising not just a victory, but an emphatic one, a performance that will silence his critics and solidify his dominance in the boxing world. The most intriguing aspect of Garcia's pronouncements is his knockout plan. During a face-off on Dazen's YouTube channel, the topic of Gervonta Tank Davis, who delivered a brutal knockout to Garcia in 2022, inevitably arose. It's just annoying because he's using that tank shit, Garcia stated, implying Haney was trying to rattle him by mentioning Davis. With a hint of playful defiance, he challenged Haney, Have I knocked out anybody with a right hand? You'll be the right one. Haney, unfazed, countered with a confident, No, I won't. Garcia, reveling in the pre-fight banter, concluded, I'll be funny if I knock you out with a right hand. This exchange just shows you an interesting dynamic. While both fighters are brimming with confidence, Garcia seems to be reveling in the pre-fight hype, using social media and public appearances as a platform to showcase his personality and fighting spirit. This approach, while undoubtedly engaging for fans, can also be seen as a calculated risk. Will it translate into a focused and disciplined performance on fight night, or will it become a distraction? Now, while the fighters themselves have been busy generating a pre-fight war of words, boxing experts are carefully dissecting their strengths and weaknesses, offering predictions for what promises to be an explosive fight on April 20th. The boxing world is largely leaning towards Devin Haney emerging victorious. Odd Shark, a popular sports betting website, predicts Haney's methodical approach. They believe Garcia will struggle to find his rhythm early on, facing difficulty landing clean punches against the more technical Haney. Their prediction aligns with the sentiment of Vegas odds, which favor Haney based on his current momentum and reputation as the undefeated champion. Topology community has also weighed in on the Haney vs. Garcia bout, offering insights into potential outcomes. With an 83% likelihood, the community foresees Devin Haney clinching victory through a decision, showcasing confidence in his technical expertise and endurance. In contrast, Ryan Garcia is seen as the underdog, with a 17% chance of winning, primarily through a knockout or technical knockout highlighting his perceived ability to capitalize on openings with explosive power. These predictions show Haney's overwhelming favoritism among the community, suggesting a consensus on his superior skills and strategic advantage. Perhaps people are siding with Haney because of his strengths compared to Garcia's. Haney's strengths lie in his well-rounded skill set. Haney embodies the image of a textbook boxer. He thrives in the mid-range, meticulously building his offense around a weapon widely regarded as exceptional. His jab. This isn't just a simple punch, it's the main point of his game. He uses the jab to initiate attacks, keeping opponents at bay while simultaneously creating openings for follow-up punches. But Haney's mastery doesn't stop at his jab. He's also a footwork master. This allows him to dictate the pace of the fight, frustrating his opponents, and setting them up for perfectly timed counterpunches. Nobody has a better jab to me in boxing. I don't care who it is, you want to say what you want to say. Um, I, I agree with that, because it started from here. Wham! And you, you was bringing it from here, from down here. <laughs> Wham! That motherfucker, she, she, she covered that motherfucker. I mean, I, I, if you think about it, I just became undisputed off just a jab alone. However, no fighter is invincible. Even Haney has a weakness in his armor, his tendency to drop his right hand after throwing the jab. This creates a crucial opening, an invitation for a powerful counterpunch. And who better to exploit this than Garcia? a fighter whose signature weapon is a devastating left hook. If Garcia can capitalize on this vulnerability, it could massively alter the course of the fight. On the other hand, Ryan Garcia, the brash young star with the King Ree moniker, isn't to be taken as a weakling. He's a highlight machine, throwing lightning-fast punches and dancing around the ring with fancy footwork. 
Fans love his exciting style, and he's nicknamed Kingry for a reason. His left hook is a knockout punch that can put even the toughest fighters down for the count, but with great power comes great risk, and Garcia might be learning that the hard way. His flashy fighting style is like a cool trick. It looks awesome, but it leaves him open to getting hit. Just like Haney leaves an open line of attack, Garcia sometimes gets caught celebrating his punches instead of protecting himself, leaving him vulnerable to punches coming right back at him. Another problem for Garcia is his head movement. Just like a good dodge in a video game, good head movement in boxing helps fighters avoid getting punched. Garcia doesn't always move his head well, which makes him an easy target for a skilled boxer like Haney, who uses a jab a lot. On top of that, Garcia has had trouble keeping his weight in check in the past. It's not a surprise Haney was calling him fat. Staying in top physical shape is super important for boxers, especially for a championship fight. Garcia's past weight problems make some people wonder if he'll get tired later in the fight or if he'll be able to keep up his flashy moves the whole time. These weaknesses are why some experts aren't sure Garcia is ready to be champion just yet. His power is undeniable, but can it make up for his sometimes shaky defense and potential stamina issues? But here's the exciting part. Garcia's weaknesses are also what makes this fight so interesting. He's like a high wire act. One big left hook can change everything, but one mistake can leave him knocked out. This high risk, high reward style makes him a fan favorite an unpredictable force who could either beat the champion or lose because of his own mistakes. The impending lightweight showdown between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia transcends the typical hype surrounding an undefeated champion defending his title. This fight carries an added layer of intrigue, a shared history forged in the amateur ranks. These young lions, now expected to dominate the professional circuit, had already crossed paths six times before, as we said, but what exactly happened? Well. This shared history adds a personal dimension to the fight, a sense of unfinished business that promises to fuel the fire on April 20th. Their first encounter, shrouded in the mist of time, remains a topic of debate. Haney claims Garcia emerged victorious, while Garcia's camp insists he secured the win over his future rival. This disputed outcome, lost to the roots of amateur boxing records, might serve as the seed of the animosity that would blossom over the years. The subsequent five meetings followed a similar pattern, a competitive back and forth battle with split decisions favoring each fighter on three occasions. These amateur clashes, while crucial for their development as boxers, also laid the groundwork for a simmering rivalry. Each victory and each defeat undoubtedly left a mark fueling the competitive fire within them. Perhaps this is the one fight we'll see as fans where these two are now seriously in for business. The psychological impact of their amateur encounters can't be overstated either. Haney and Garcia know each other intimately. Their styles are dissected and their weaknesses are exposed. These early battles may even serve as a psychological weapon. Haney, armed with the knowledge of having defeated Garcia three times, could approach the fight with a sense of control and confidence but also Garcia, looking to avenge those past defeats, might enter the ring with a burning desire to prove himself and rewrite history. However, it's important to remember that the battlefield has shifted dramatically. The raw talent and unrefined skills showcased by the amateurs have been honed and sculpted through years of professional experience. Both fighters have likely evolved significantly since their last amateur clash, potentially rendering those past results irrelevant. Haney has developed into a technically sound boxer, relying on a sharp jab and intelligent footwork to control fights. His professional record boasts an impressive 31 wins with 15 knockouts and no losses, a testament to his ability to dominate opponents. Garcia, on the other hand, is a showman with devastating knockout power. His professional record of 23 with 19 knockouts and no losses showcases his ability to end fights with a single, powerful blow. However, questions still remain about his defense and stamina weaknesses potentially exposed in the amateurs. The shared history between Haney and Garcia adds a layer of complexity to the fight. There's respect for each other's skills, but an undeniable desire to settle the score. These past encounters may serve as a source of motivation, pushing both fighters to reach new heights. Haney might be driven by the desire to cement his dominance over Garcia, while Garcia might be fueled by the burning desire for redemption and a chance to prove he's the superior fighter. Ultimately, the outcome of the fight won't rewrite their amateur history, but it will redefine their professional legacies.
For boxing fans, the shared history between Haney and Garcia is more than just a trivia point. It's a narrative thread that adds depth and intrigue to a fight already brimming with excitement. It's a chance to witness not just a battle for championship gold, but a clash of wills, a culmination of years of competition, and a chance to settle unfinished business once and for all. On April 20th, as the bell rings, the memories of those six amateur battles will undoubtedly linger in the air. Will Haney leverage his experience and technical prowess to maintain his undefeated record? Or will Garcia's unwavering confidence and devastating knockout power propel him to victory? The ghosts of their amateur battles may provide clues, but only the fight itself will provide the definitive answer. What do you think? Which side are you on this one? Share your thoughts below and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more updates on your favorite sport. See you next time.